been cause for bitter disputes among nations. But for many, it may be a surprise to hear that it's water rather than oil or gas that's becoming a reason for conflict. And you can see on this map right here that the world has witnessed close to 180 disputes over water resources since the 1950s. And these include small clashes and protests, as well as more serious large-scale conflicts. One example is the tensions in the Middle East, where the struggle for water is a key issue in some ongoing conflicts. Artis Poslier has more. The Bible tells us that within a short distance from here, Jesus turned water into wine. 2,000 years later, the greater miracle might be turning the wine back into water. Babi Kabalo has been living in the Golan Heights for over 30 years. Each day he attends to his vineyard and orchards, keeping his wine in a cellar that was once a Syrian bunker. He is proud of the wine he produces, but knows that in the absence of water, none of this would be possible. Water is important because it's the second main resource that we have other than the land. Each crop needs water, and without it you will destroy all the crops and destroy all of the farming here. It can turn the Golan Heights into a desert. And it's not just about the Golan Heights. Rainwater from its catchment feeds into the River Jordan, providing a third of Israel's water supply. The disputed region was seized from Syria after the Six-Day War, and residents of the Golan remember that water was a key issue in the conflict. Anyone who stands here understands the importance of the Golan for the water supply of Israel because every drop of water that is draining here on the Golan is flowing to the Sea of Galilee. So we can say that it is a must for the, the state of Israel to have control over these water sources. It's a worldwide rule that whoever controls the water controls the land. But the problem is, in some places, there's very little water to go around. When you have a common uh, water resource shared by several sovereign nations, there's always a possibility of clash of interests. Conflicts that should be manageable will spin out of control. And examples of possible conflicts are plentiful. Syria's major water sources travel through Turkey and Iraq, making it vulnerable. While Jordan is reliant on a river where Syria built a dam. Egypt also recently expressed concern over countries using the upper Nile to generate electric power. In the dry landscape of the Middle East, water is a prize more precious than diamonds. In its absence, famine and drought are quick to follow. But this is a region that very seldom needs an excuse for war and water shortages might just tip the balance. Paul Islia, RT in the Golan Heights. And as mentioned in the report, Egypt is becoming increasingly concerned over a construction project on the Upper Nile. The country relies greatly on the river, where upstream Ethiopia is currently building a massive dam. Political science professor Said Sadak says Egypt may face serious consequences when the project is completed in 2017. We have to remember that Egypt has only 6 to 7 percent of its land, arable land. The rest of the Egyptian uh, territory is desert. So that can really be serious, affecting national security. And that's why immediately when the Ethiopian raised the issue of uh, the high dam, there were some experts here in Egypt who were talking about going into a war with Ethiopia because uh, if you cut water on us, uh, we would be dying. 85% of the water, uh, Egyptian water, comes from Ethiopia, and so it's serious. In fact, in 2050, Egypt will be 150 million people, and we would be needing, in addition to the 55.5 billion cubic meter, a 21 billion uh, cubic meter extra. Uh, what would happen to Egypt in, uh, in the year 2050 if we don't have more water?